Uh, uh, come here, stupid. A day of moon. Welcome back to Return to Moria. The Lord of the Wings. Big ol' update. Added a new sandbox mode. That's where we are right now. A bit more freedom to the open world now. I hear some beautiful music playing. Are we getting close to something awesome? This looks like a really big dirt wall. Where's this gonna go? Hello there. I've reached the other side. Whoa. These big old statues, can I break them for stone? And over here, it looks like some more halls. Some old ruins. And another statue to repair. Okay, so that's what those markings on my map are. If I remember correctly. And what is this over here? Another carbon? I hear goblins? Got about the big goblin on these balls, mother trucker. Let's go find them. Nothing has quite screamed base location to me yet, except for right now. I think I might have found my base location. <laughs> Some elven ruins down here? Don't mind if I do. Can do, can do, but that looks like a bear. And I'm not sure if I can kill a bear yet. So we're gonna have to be a little careful. Maybe a little bearful. <laughs> oh my god. So I think maybe for now, setting up right here isn't a bad idea. So let's do that. We'll set up right on the outside of the elven area, just to get some decent weapons and armor rocking so we can go fight that bear. Oh gosh. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, you don't see me. I'm clearly invisible. The torch does not give me away, that's for sure. Okay, well. Ugh. Be extra careful. Dodge roll. We got this. Don't worry. I got this. Just gotta play our stamina right. Dodge roll. Here we go. One down. Two down. And that'll be enough hide scraps for our new backpack, which is a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and just craft that right away so we have a little bit more inventory room. There we go. Time for a camp hearth. I'm gonna slap that right there. And then we can craft food at it. Don't mind if I do, but we need a meal table. Go ahead and slap that right on the corner. And then we can get a couple of... three portions of mushroom stew. And then you over here. I want some better meat. Ooh, we can light these up. So we have a bit, a little bit of a better view in here. I bet we could probably craft a few of these as well to get a better view. And I'm going to take this guy out, because I want more meat. Need one more piece. And then we can make a nice meal. And I believe the food in this game gives your character uh, temporary buffs. So that's a good thing. I'm going to put my bedroll right here. We're really just, we're really slumming it. My character is pretty sleepy and hungry, but we're going to go ahead and eat first. Mushroom stew should be going over to the dinner table here shortly. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. A dwarf needs to keep his meals in his tummy where they belong. And the meal table needs clearing. But I want to leave the mushroom stews for later. I don't want to eat them all right now. And then we have a little wood pallet where we can store some of our wood. That way we have a little bit of inventory room. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, what is this? A brew tank? Iron wood, steel, and shanor ingots. We can start making grog. What is life without grog? We need to fix that thing. That's for sure. And there's a small brew tank right here for bronze ingot and inbishum wood, wherever we get that. Some dried fruit. Don't mind if I do. And what looks like another wall? Is this iron right here? I think this is iron. Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, and wow, up there is, like, even more. Either, either copper or iron, I'm not sure, but... We found actually, like, a... Sneaky good little base location here. Didn't even expect this. This is perfect. Start singing. I miss the singing in this game. Get a little bit of bonus mining speed by chanting. Don't mind me. 
what else do we got going on around here? Any chests or anything? There's another little wood pallet right here that we can steal some stuff from. A smithy. Ooh. That's cool. It'd be awesome if we were able to, like, pick these things up and, like, kind of bring them back. But it looks like this whole area kind of has a bunch of goodies scattered around in it. Oh, God. Speaking of goodies, I think my axe is almost broken, so I don't want to fight that guy quite yet. When do we attack? I want to taste uh -oh. flesh. Uh, where are those goblins talking from? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I need a little bit of wood scrap so I can make myself another axe, please. Then honestly think, screw it. Let's go see if we can kill the bear. YOLO. I want to see where this ends up because... Oh, it's cold over here, huh? That's not good. I don't have any warm clothes. Oh, there's a goblin. Oh my lord. Hey, dude. Maybe, uh... My house isn't the best place to dig a hole? Wait, is that all you're gonna do? You're just gonna jump scare me and then dig a hole under my bed? I can't sleep here anymore. There's a hole under my bed. How is that gonna be comfortable? I'm gonna grab a couple of these flowers and see if it unlocks a new recipe for me. Wait, is it- can I pick the fruits off this tree? Oh my god, I can. I can now make roasted fruit. So, I believe that we're gonna need coal. That seems to be the next primary objective here, so... Where would I be if I was coal? That kind of looks dark, but why do I just doubt that that's coal? What we can do, though, is build a little platform. Oh, gosh. Wolves. No! Oh. They're just rolling up out of nowhere, huh? You guys can't get up here, can you? You stinky little frickers. Come on, try. Try me. I have the high ground. Give up. You would die. You would perish. Fine. I'm going down to fight you. Uh, uh. Oh, and my torch went out. That's not good. Fighting in the dark now. Not good. Oh, wait. That was easy. See you later, buds. Stinky frickers. And then another torch. There we go. And a quick platform. Looks rather dark, but I think it might just be a little bit of copper. Oh, no. It is cold. Heck yeah. All right. This is exactly what we were looking for, guys. Beautiful. So now we can actually create the uh, higher tier hearth, which I believe is going to unlock a little bit more stuff for us. Slap that one right here, and then look at that radius just went up a ton. Some better meals and things can be crafted here, and now we also have wall torches, standing torches, forges, and furnaces. I'm going to grab a little bit more stone off my stone pile here. And then go ahead and get the uh, forge or the uh, the furnace set up, that is. Good thing we have a little stone deposit right next to our house. A dwarf's wet dream. There we go, and let's set up a furnace. Um, you know, right here looks as good as any. What is feng shui when you're a dwarf anyway? And it looks like we can make five ingots, and once we grab the first ingot, it's going to unlock even more stuff for us. And the next upgraded stone hearth is going to be bronze ingot, wherever we find that. We now have a bellows using elven wood and hide, the metalworking, to create alloys. I'm assuming that's where we're going to make bronze. A wood chest. Oh, I've been waiting for one of these. Dawn is at hand. Here we go. Collect an iron ingot. And now we have a repair smithy. Beautiful. What I really need is a forge. So we gotta wait for the rest of this iron. Oops, okay, well, I was getting a little more iron and it turns out there's more on the other side of the iron ore. So what's this gonna be about? Have I been here before? No, I haven't. This is all new. Looks like there's some more evil stuff in here. Another stone wall that goes into an elven district of some kind. All right. Oh, another creepy goblin. Are you going to fight me this time, or are you going to crawl back into your hole where you belong, mother trucker? That's what I thought. There we go, and with all that iron, we should be good to go. To make ourselves a beautiful forge. 
which will hopefully grant us some weaponry to take on the bear in the Elven Forest. Iron Sword, Iron War Axe, Iron Spear, Iron Hammer. We actually need this to fix those statues and things. As for weapons, though, I feel like I gotta go axe. What is a dwarf without his axe? Here we go. Iron War Axe acquired. Don't mind if I do. And this is gonna be a tidbit stronger than the axe I just had. Look at this puppy, nice and iron. Ooh, big and heavy. And it looks like my, my mushroom stew got a little icky. That's fine, though. Go ahead and get some roasted fruit going. See how that tastes when we get back from our battle with the bear. I'm gonna eat a little cram ration real quick, just get my HP back up. And where's the bear? Oh, nope, there he is. Okay, buddy. That is the biggest bear I maybe have ever seen. Let's see what we can do. Uh, uh. Just gonna. We're only doing seven damage to it. But it is kind of chubby and easy to dodge, so. As long as we play this right, we should be alright. Hit him with the Elden Ring skills. You got nothing on me, bear. I come from the land of the Elden King. Oh! <laughs> Please. We're good. Oh, look at those crazy llamas over there. Sorry, I got distracted. We're good. You got nothing on me, bear. Ooh, 20 damage. All right, that's like double a wolf. Okay, another 20 damage. Come on, come on, come on. We're good. All right, this is definitely a little weaker for the bear. We might need something a little stronger. We're losing a bit of HP. Can't be that many hits left, right? We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay, out of stamina again, recovering. Not good, not good. Ooh, elven wood. We can now make workbenches. <laughs> Minor distractions. No! That's not good. Okay, okay. What happens if I just get back through my hole? What happens if I get back through my hole? Okay, hit the ground for 20. Is it gonna fit? Oh, please don't fit through the hole or we're gonna have a problem. No? <sighs> Need a little roasted fruit to up my morale a little bit. That gave me all my HP back, though. I don't know, but we just got ourselves a workbench. Let's see if maybe that we can make armor with that or something? Workbench. Elven wood and more iron ore. There's another goblin. Are you gonna also go underground, you pussy bitch? Nope, he's not. Alright. <laughs> well... That's not what I expected. We got multiple goblins attacking. We're good. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, I didn't kill you? Well, I'm about to, mother trucker. <laughs> He's got, like, armor on. Makes him a little more strong, maybe? There we go. That's what I thought. Okay, so now I'm a little curious, because we broke through on that iron node side. And if we get a little bit more elven wood then we can go ahead and make ourselves that workbench, which might enable us to make armors and maybe another weapon. I know there's bows and arrows in this game as well. And guess who uses bows and arrows? Elves. So, ultimately, if we get enough elven wood, I think we can make some arrows. So let's see through... Ooh! Oh, this axe is so much stronger, though. And it's got a little bit of knockback. These wolves are nothing now. We're already getting strong as heck. But yeah, let's see what's on the other side of this little dirt wall. Hello there. Alright, yeah, we're in another little elven area. I can grab more of these crab apples while I'm in here. Might as well. They're really good food. Something's over there. And there's some weird, uh, creepy goblins that I've been talking through the walls for a bit now. Oh, you look a little bit... Oh, you look a little bit bigger and stronger than the other goblins. So we got a bit of a goblin boss fight going already. I lost half my HP with one hit, by the way. Isengard? That is all you've got. You guys fight for Isengard? You sons of a guns. Hit him with a dodge roll. Can people in Isengard dodge roll like this, mother trucker? Oh, there's another one. Oh, gosh. How many of these are going to send after me? 
Dodge roll. Here we go. See you later, bud. Metal fragments and some coins. I can scoop those coins up later. <gasps> Look at this. This is what we needed right here. Can we just use our axe for that? We can. We can chop these trees. And they should give us elven wood. I would hope. It looks like it. Beautiful. And cabbage. Hmm, my cabbages. Alright, so that puts us at 19 elven wood, 13 elven wood, and how much did we need for the workbench? 12, exactly. Beautiful. And there's a couple more trees over here, though, that we can also check out. And I hear more goblins up there, but I'm gonna ignore them for now. Let's go make the workbench. So I need armor and some other weapons. Let's see what we can whip up with these cabbages. Oh my god, these things are following me through. Really? Really, you stupid little mole rats? Come on. Stay down, please. Thank you. Alright, home sweet home. What can we cook? Let's see. Meat stew? We need some sunions. Haven't seen any sunions yet. But I know this roasted fruit gave me a ton of HP back, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab the five iron out of here, and then we go ahead and set up our little workbench. Right there looks good enough to me. Ink grinder, adventure pack, bow and arrow. Yes, sir. That'll help us take down the bear for sure. Adventurer's pack, we need eight hide. How much do we have? Now, oh, see, I have hide scraps. I don't have regular hide. Maybe we get the hide off of the bears? What do we need for the bow? More elven wood and hide scraps. And then a whole bunch of arrows. I'm going to personally just make a ton of arrows right off the bat. And then we need to scoop up a little bit more elven wood. I'm going to smash these roasted fruits real quick. Oh, it looks like it's actually opening up in there a little bit. There are some more goblin mans in there, though. Which is a tidbit spooky. A little bit more elven wood for us. And some old ruins. Definitely some elven ruins of some kind. There's something down there and another statue to repair. What's going to be in these pots? If Zelda's taught me anything, money. Oh, mint seeds. Okay, so if we start mining. Mining. Farming, I mean. We can actually start growing our own food, it seems like. Looks like there's some more coal down there, some more cabbages, more coal there as well. There's got to be some elven chests scattered around in this little area. It looks like there's another entrance over there to the right past the goblin men, and they're guarding a whole bunch of cabbages. And then there's another little entrance over there, and I see an icon through the wall just in that direction, so I'm not sure what that is, but we can find out shortly. I just want to make the bow first. Can I catch up to these things? Oh, I got them. Meat and <gasps> regular hide. That's for the better backpack. Okay, so we need to get that bow, and we need to take out more of the llamas. Because if we take out more of the llamas, we can get more inventory room, which is definitely something I've been struggling with. Uh, Camp Westgate under siege. Uh-oh. This is Camp Westgate? I guess it is. Where are they? Hello, Mr. Goblin. Oh my god, really? Wait, this is how many are gonna attack me? Hello? Nope. Nope. Leave my forges alone. I worked hard on those. Leave everything alone. I worked hard on all of this. You mother truckers. Uh, uh. We need a better base location. We have no walls, no nothing. If I could funnel these guys, they'd be easier. Also, if you gave me time to have breakfast first... I haven't had my brekkie yet. Uh. Fighting on an empty tummy is nothing for a dwarf. Uh... Oh my god. There's quite a few. There we go. Get blocked, mother trucka. Leave it alone. Leave my forges alone. Leave it all alone. You, quit it. You son of a 
Bitch. Iron axe broke. Uh oh. Alright, um. Pickaxe time. Ooh. Eat that. Eat that. Oh, wait, that's not good enough. Um, oh god. Alright, I gotta craft an improvised axe as we go. I don't have metal fragments on me. <laughs> Alright, I didn't anticipate this breaking so easily. Uh, metal fragments. There we go, I got some. Alright, craft, improvised axe. Boop. We got it. Alright, we got something to fight with. Get off of my stuff, mother truckers. I'm gonna need that repair smithy. I'm also close to dying. Eat a mushy. Eat a mushy, I need health. Okay, mushy didn't do it. Alright, we just need to go hitless here. We are talking about Elden Ring before. You? You running? Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> wow. Good golly gosh, that was a lot. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of roast meat. That'll cheer me up. Gonna make that iron hammer, so we can go ahead and uh, repair some statues, because I want to find out what that does. And I didn't quite get enough elven wood for the bow yet, but that's fine. We can go scoop some real easy. And it does actually look like we unlocked all of the building stuff for walls and stairs and things like that, so once we find a better location, we can definitely kind of, like, wall ourselves off a little bit more in case another attack comes through. Repair smithy requires a bit more iron. So I need to get a little bit more iron, and I need to get a little bit more elven wood. And look, my axe is just a hilt. I like that. I like the little things when it comes to games like this, so that's really cool to see. Just because it's broken doesn't mean it's just unusable. It's literally broken. It's just a hilt. And I'm going to try to sneak past the bear. If at all possible. Maybe we just go around this way. Go up and in. Oh wow, this goes really tall. And this is the, the structure that I was just talking about with the hammer. We just need 10 stone to fix this. So let's get 10 stone real quick. Got a bunch of stone right here, actually. And there is another statue right here that we can repair, I believe. Is it just going to require stone? Yeah. So there we go. Let's rebuild it. Let's see what this unlocks for us. Monument to Durin 3. And now I have to sing to it? All right, let's sing to it. Inspiration surges. Okay. Do I get a buff or something? And I got undaunted. I don't know what that means. The power of Durin flows through the cause of doom. Bonus and stamina health. Energy cures despair. Wow. Okay. I mean, if we can repair my axe and get that bow, it might actually be worthwhile to start fighting that bear. Actually found a little bit more elven wood on the ground here. That's exactly enough, I believe. Oh, beautiful. We can make the bow right now. And then I can use all this bonus stamina and HP and stuff from singing to the statue. To kill this bear. Hello, workbench. Craft a hunting bow. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. Alright, let's give this bow a try, because I think, actually, if we can take out this bear, he's gonna drop hide for us. He's running away. You don't like the cheese? Bears like honey, not cheese. I personally love cheese. Cheese and honey. Honey and cheese is pretty delicious. Okay, just how many arrows are you going to take? You're just going to take a billion? I feel like that's possible. There we go. See you later, bud. Got meat. Got three hide. All right. But I'm curious what's going to be through this next wall over here. There's some more elven wood. Beautiful. Going to need a lot more of that, I bet. Let's see what's on the other side of this one. Whoa, okay. We're breaking into something a little crazier. It looks like a goblin outpost of some kind. Which is rather dangerous, but maybe I can figure it out with a bow. Let's see. 18, 21. Oh, he's got a bow as well. Okay. I'm just figuring that out now. Some of them have ranged. We'll just keep using the bow, though. Projectiles seem pretty easy to dodge. 
gonna keep kiting. Oh gosh, one just flew by my head. Careful. These are doing way more damage than my axe was. Looks like they're weak against elven bows. Come on. See you later, bud. Don't have space for their coins, but that's alright for now. What I really need is some hide. Orcus chest. We need a key for the Orcus chest. But nobody dropped the key. You look like you might drop a key. Can you drop a key for me? Hello? Can you... Can you drop a key for me? And what's through here this way? I'm looking for those... Oh. What in the hell? This looks like a... Elven forge of some kind. Got some missing pieces. Find a replacement crank. Is that it right there? This looks like a gear of some kind. Replacement gear. And I can just grab it? Oh, but I carry it. Okay. I see. And I think we need to bring it up there. So we need to build our way up there somehow. And then this is going to be... Great Forge. Uh-oh. No, please. Leave me alone. I don't think I have enough arrows for these guys. Uh, uh. My axe is still broken. I was hoping I'd come across some iron in here because I already exhausted my node. Uh, uh, uh. Just keep kiting them. Keep kiting them. Do what we can. While we can. That's my last arrow. Looks like we're fighting now. What up, dude? 20 damage. I need some armor of some kind, man. I'm just taking a lot of damage. And also, I'm a little scared of respawns or something. Can we just, like, break this down? This feels like it would be, like, a spawn point thing, right? There we go. Oh, and look at that. An orcish key. Don't mind if I do. And then we can open this puppy, which is going to have a steel ingot. Steel hammer, steel pickaxe, steel pallet, sapphire, topaz, black diamonds, and more gold. Okay, I'm gonna come back for that. Got a meal already waiting for me, because I thought ahead like a good little dwarf. I'm gonna deposit all my things. There we go. Are you guarding something over here, mister? He's wearing like a lumberjack outfit. Wonder what's gonna be on the other side of this. I want to see if there's a big, deep, and open elven area that I can live in. I feel like that would be awesome. This looks like more elven stuff, but look at that. They have like a little tower set up here. This looks like a pretty nice build spot right there. Couple enemies there, and look, that's another one of those deers that I'm looking for. This one looks special, though, doesn't it? Maybe it's a male version. Maybe I killed the female version. There we go. Meat and hide. Don't mind if I do. And there's another icon on the other side of this wall. Let's go find out what that is. Oh, someone heard me come through. Hello. Just here to pillage everything. Remove the goblins from the area. There we go. See you later, bud. And I see more deer dead ahead. I need those. Come here, Eekthiers. I need as many of these things as I can get. I need that better backpack. The struggle with inventory has been enough so far. I need a better backpack. Oh. If only I could aim. Aiming would probably help quite a bit. See you later. More meat, more hide. Oh, that gave me two. Okay, we have plenty now. But look at this rock. Is this like something different? Doesn't it look a little different? No, it's just straight dirt. And it leads to the area that I've already been in. But now I'm curious, what is this thing over here? Mazuka Navari's line. So we place carvings on this? I guess we need four of them. I have a couple of carvings back home, but I don't know if they're specifically for this. Maybe this will unlock uh, something for us or give us a buff, I don't know. Trying to get a little bit more hide, because I bet we're going to unlock more things that need more hide. Durin's Highway. Huh. A little busy with the elven area right now, but we'll definitely come investigate this another time. 
I'm gonna assume that Elven Forge that we need to repair is probably going to provide us with like bronze ingots and some of the higher tier stuff, so I definitely want to get that repaired, and it would probably be smart to, like I said before, live right next to this. So that way we have easy access to the Elven Forge. I guess we are pretty close for now. See you later, bud. Oh gosh, little war party. I'm gonna take a left here, because I think there was iron this way. Which is truly what I'm looking for, because I still need a bit more iron. Smell that. Smell Smells like elf. elf. Insulting. I'm a dwarf. Not an elf. Oh gosh, yeah, they're all back. I need to go through here, because I think this is where I found the iron nodes. I would like to get over there for more iron, please. Little dodge roll action. See you later. Take your coins. And this is where I want to be. Where were they defending? There's coal there. There was coal up there. But there's got to be iron in here somewhere. I need a little bit of wood. So let's go down into the house. Ugh. Splash down. And steal a little bit of wood scraps out of here so we can build our way across. And look at that! A Navari carving! Was that the thing I was looking for before? For the uh, little statues over there? And what's up here? It looks like it's like literally a mining cave or something? And there's no way to go over there. So yeah, no iron this way, man. Hmm. The struggle is real when it comes to iron. You gonna chase me all the way home, dude? Really? Leave me alone. <laughs> they do not de-aggro. If they chase you, they chase you. That's insane. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Yep. We're gonna need a better base location. This is awful. Just constantly getting attacked. <sighs> See you later. I think there was a third of you. Okay. Naked mole rat is now attacking us. So that's a lot easier with the bow. Oh my god. Already feeling the improvement a little bit. Oh gosh. Ouch. That hurt. But we're good for now. There we go. Using that hide, we make the better backpack finally. And we're gonna go ahead and scoop that up, and then we open our old backpack and grab everything. Oh my god, look at that. So much more inventory room this was worth. But the quest for iron continues. Okay. New little area here. What's this? Sun onion! Yes! That's what we needed to make that really good food, actually. That's Pog. Okay. Some more mushrooms. This whole little area is a little bit bigger than I'm used to. And there's no, like, houses or anything, just a lot of sun onions. Uh, pick up all the onions. Give me all them. Hello. Are you just gonna climb into the ground, or are you someone that wants to fight? I think you're someone that wants to fight. Good luck fighting my elven bow of destiny. It's dark as hell. Oh, there- oh, oh, okay. Alright, well, I see now. Strength in numbers, right? Something like that. Grab all the onions while we're fighting. Uh, uh, there you go. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna ask you a question instead. How's that feel, buddy? You guarding iron in here? I feel like you're guarding iron. I think you're holding out on me. Just a little bit, maybe. Nope. No iron here. Hello, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, what is that? Is that iron or is that coal? I'm gonna say that's coal, right? Is that what you are? That is coal. R.I.P. Alright, I'm just gonna have to smack our way through again. See what's on the other side of this one. Alright, it's a little echoey in here. Oh, this might be a good mining place, right? Let me guess. Coal? 
Yep, more coal. All right. This is like collapsed or something. Ooh. If this doesn't have iron, I don't know what's gonna have iron. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, like collapsed from the roof or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It wasn't being maintained by the dwarves. Anything on this pile of rocks right here? Just gonna climb up it. See what's on the other side. Oh, oh that looks like iron to me. Hell yeah, all right, I'm getting all of this. All right, that should do it. That puts us up to 26 iron, not too shabby. Maybe there's another deposit in here, just so we can get an idea. There's another statue we can rebuild. Let's go ahead and do that. Is it just another door in statue? So this one's a little different. <gasps> iron Hill's armor. Oh, so the one I repaired before, what? That was just like a buff thing, but there's certain ones that are also gonna unlock armor for us. And what is this? Little area in here. More coal, a couple of bags. Oh. Is this part of Doran's highway that we found before? What's this gonna lead to? That's a big old statue right there. That looks like a Gimli statue. Some more Sunions. A little bit more coal. Another statue, beautiful. I'm just gonna repair all of these that I find now. I thought they were just gonna be for buffs, but nope, these are gonna start unlocking armors and things for me. So I definitely need to repair all the ones that I find as I find them. And it looks like I found the bar. Is there Grog here? There's a bunch of enemies coming up after me right now too. Oh, maybe they gave up? No, maybe their fat heads can't get through the door. I see you down there. Flying strike from above! You didn't see that coming, did you, mother trucker? Hello there. You're no match for my elven bow. Looks like his friend just dug a hole next to me as well. These little two little holes right here. Don't gotta deal with them, though. Let's go smelt some of this iron and look for a few more statues on our way back, too, so we can unlock the armor, because we're going to need that. Oh, here's another one. Rebuild. We need a little bit more stone. Well, good thing there's a whole bunch of stone right here. There we go. Rebuild that. And let's see. It looked like we needed to do three different types, so like three for the chest piece and three for the helmet. I don't know if there's going to be a leg piece or something like that. Smelt up a bunch of this iron. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, look at all that. Beautiful. So we're going to be able to repair our axe, and then we're going to have some leftover iron for we uh, inevitably make this armor. But now what I want to do is find more of these statues. I mean, that's really what I want to do, because armor is going to help us face these goblin mother truckers inside the elven biome. So I'm going to see if I missed any over here. There is an icon on my map there. And I don't know what it's for. The Muzakan. And it looks like there's a Doors of Doran over here? Huh. I'm really enjoying this update, man. Like, I just feel like I can just, like, freely explore and have fun. It's a beautiful thing. I need nine stone to fix this one up. There's a little bit of stone right here. There we go. It should be more than enough. And then hopefully this unlocks the armor, but it might go towards the helmet. Not really sure yet. Oh no, it went for the armor. Boom. And then in the forge, we can now make that. Can we see the recipe from here? No, we can't. Okay. But that's fine. I want to get the helmet too before we head back. Breaking through to this area now too. Oh, I see. So these are the... This is the carving thing that we were looking at before. Ooh, a furnace? A forge? Ooh. Ooh. This is like a little bit of a base that we could like take and re-upgrade for ourselves if we wanted to have like a home away from home. How many carvings do you need? You need four more of Ori Muzakan's carvings. Which I feel like they'd probably just be like scattered around this area maybe? Mm, Doran's pain is gone. 
Right. Perhaps we'll find its bones one day. Doran's what? Is there gonna be a dragon or something over here? Some more remains, some stone. A bit of a river. Some big old statues. I'm gonna make this jump. <gasps> And I don't want to see what this Doran's door down here is. What is this? Definitely was a bit of a fight going on here at one point. There's a lot of remains. Sign of the Fellowship. Oh, the Fellowship was here. I found a wee set of Shire made travel plates and force. It must have been left behind one of Lord Gimli's hobbit companions. It must be the same path of Gandalf and Gimli have led them. That's awesome. So we get like a little bit of, uh, lore from the Lord of the Rings. The lore of the rings, if you will. And these old halls with the old statues and rugs and whatever this purple demonist thing is. Durin. What is wrong with it? I've never seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. Okay. So that's the way out. But it's got some dark magic on it. Hmm. That's spooky scary. Don't know how to fix that yet. I'm just breaking through to this other side too. And that... That way through just led to another way through. There's an orc town over here apparently. And Drimmel's Gate. Huh. All right, through to the other side. I'm hoping that we find a couple more statues through this way. That'd be beneficial. Dwarf remains, we need to honor them. And we get ourselves a little hero's token, whatever that's gonna be used for. Wow, like a lot of dwarf remains in here. Probably from the war. A couple of wolves as well. Wolf shouldn't be a problem for my elven bow. See you later. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Take this meat home for a good, nice, tasty treat. Yeah, no statues in here yet, but it looks like we're kind of connecting some of the back end of our little uh, housing area, so this is good. We're exploring. Oh, look at that. We broke our way into a nice little spot. And look at that, a statue. Don't mind if I do. This is probably going to be for the helmet, unless there's another piece of the armor. Nope, see, there's gloves as well. But for now, I guess we could just make the chest piece and see how beneficial that is. Another wolfie. Oh, and another statue that we must have walked past earlier. Beautiful. I bet there might be like one or two statues in this little region here. Let's mine up a little bit more stone right here. There we go. Repair this one. So is it going to be a pant as well? Or is it just going to be glove, armor, helmet? Ooh, a shield. Oh, that would be nice. Would be nice to have a good shield. All right, any other statues in this little area here? We got a naked mole rat. Put him down. Anything over here? Something glowing in this corner. Don't mind if I do. Another Muzikon carving. That looks like it for the statues in this little chunk. Let's go make that armor, see how good it is, and what we would need for it, too. I bet it's going to be a bit of iron, which we have a good amount of now. All right, scoop all nine iron right there. Give me all that. And then in here, Iron Hill's armor. Boom, we can actually make it already. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead and equip that. Nice. So yeah, there's pants, gloves, helmet, and shield. So wow, we're going to need a lot of those statues. And I'm wondering if we will start finding some in the elven biome as well. And now with those yunions, we can go ahead and make a whole meat stew, which hopefully wakes me up a little bit because my sleep schedule has been all out of whack, um, which is not good. Because of our stamina max and our HP and just everything like that is low because of it. We can finally get the repair smithy down so we can go ahead and just fix all of our things. And it just uses metal scraps so we don't have to constantly look for more iron to fix. And there we go. Now we got a little bit of armor. 
I got my better axe. And I want to head a little bit deeper into the elven area and see if there's more statues over there. Because if there is, we need to repair... We need to repair them. Let's pound that meat stew. Does that give us... Yep. Well-fed hero spirit. So that meat stew is going to be king buff food. And I even feel like I'm running faster as well. Which is awesome. Hello, Mr. Bear. I'm just going to scoot by. I want to explore more of the elven area, please. Here we are. And it looks like breaking that uh, monument didn't really do anything. It did give us the key that we were looking for, though, which is nice. There we go. See you later, bud. A little bit of cloth scraps off of that. And up here on the left, looks like there's another area to explore inside the elven region. Just over here. I could also take out that camp over there and steal their goodies. I'll do that in a second if there's nothing this way. It's be a really cool build location. I'm actively looking for like a real good spot. Because I think we're about to get attacked again soon. And you guys know how that went last time. We almost lost a few of our uh, few of our forges and crafting stations, which is not good. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus. Jump scare. You got to give me a warning of jump scares. Moria. I wasn't ready for that. That is all you've got. Got a wolf here. A couple of wolves. Oh, another statue. Nice. Okay, so this is going to give me an idea if this is going to unlock the same armor. It is. Okay, so it's starting to unlock the same armor as the other region. Good to know. What the hell am I hearing? Some elven magic going on in here? Hello? Wolves are on me. That's fine. I can should be able to just about one-shot these guys now. Since my new axe is repaired. Got a little bit of coal here. I want to check to see if there's iron or, like, bronze or, like, a special type of node in here. A lot of coal. We'll definitely never run out of coal, that's for sure. And boop, another statue. Go ahead and get a little bit of stone for that. Beautiful. Hit that. Bada bing, bada boom. Give me the helmet. Give me the helmet. The shield. That's fine. That's fine. Better than nothing. I would prefer the helmet. So that way I can get the next piece. And it looks like, look at this. It's got like a different color than the rest of the stuff. So, uh, yeah, this might be... A new biome or a new region already? Right now we're in the elven workshops and now we're at the first stair. Double gear ugood. That's how you say it, by the way. I speak Dorvan. There's a yellow light over here with some mushrooms growing. Right here. What? What is all this? Does this just go straight up? Whoa, okay. That goes really high up. We're going to need a lot of wood and a lot of platforms to get up that in the future. That's crazy. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today, though. I'm definitely going to play more of this. But obviously, if you guys want to see me post more of this, you guys need to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here if you made it this far. Obviously, you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, so please show your support by hitting all the buttons and all the interactions. Ugh. Why? Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's not good. I was going to say, why is my bow not shooting? We're going to need a little bit more elven wood on our way home. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, though. And I will see you in the next one. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh.